Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Europa Universalis 4, Colonial Prick. Uh, just before I unpause the game, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers and to anyone who is actually watching my first series on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And, and also uh, a reminder to anyone who's stumbled, stumbled across my videos, as I stumble upon my words, <laughs> who's stumbled across my videos and um, haven't uh, subscribed yet or liked any of my videos and I'd like to just remind you guys to do so if you guys do enjoy the content and in saying that let's unpause and continue where we left off actually let's let's do a quick, quick uh, recap of what happened in the previous episode the previous episode I believed we started to colonize the New World or the, the Caribbean and a little bit of South America and we are also attempting to uh, well we're waiting biding our time building up our manpower pool and building up our army so that we can in the near future hopefully attack burgundy and steal some of this precious english channel trade node land Ooh, bit of a lag spike there but yeah let's continue we have some diplomats available to send to other nations we should probably keep on improving with sweden I do definitely want these two nations to be independent. This prick Denmark, not a colonial prick, he's just a prick. He's, um, he holds too much power at the moment, so we need to stop that when we can. We have a big spy network against Burgundy, so we can grab claim on Artois. And complete this mission Austria. Our ally wants us to join a war against Salzburg and... The Palatinate and Ulm? You want me, England, to help you in a war against Ulm? Uh, Holy Roman intervention against Salzburg. Uh, Mr. Austria, I think you can handle this on your own, but whatever. I'll accept. <laughs> I don't need these forts. These forts were turned off before, but I'll leave them here. I think we'll complete this mission and grab those claims and ah right we gained an admiral I uh, will get rid of him I am not interested in him at the moment I don't I want to be accruing my military power let's unpause Flanders is independent which is very interesting now now that I'm actually at war who's Flanders <laughs> maybe we can do some sneaky things here since we are at war on the allied side with the emperor maybe we can come here and nab one of these provinces so let's prepare for this let's bring our army oh yep no we'll bring our army down here our explorer has finished i believe i didn't think of this beforehand this this wall this war against all of all nations might actually be of benefit to me. Let's bring, keep ferrying our army down. We don't have a lot of cogs. Why is this? Are we no, we're not. Okay, let's build a couple more. One more cog, just so we can get to the limit, and we can build another infantry division or infantry. You know, just speaking in Hearts of Iron language right now. I've been playing a little bit of Hearts of Iron. I've been trying to um become competent at the multiplayer aspect of the game. Anyway, that aside, I'm not playing Hearts of Iron at the moment, I'm playing some Europa. Do we have any claims at all? Why does Castile have claims here? Ah, uh, well, I think it's because of his uh, mission tree. Right, right, right. So if I'm not mistaken, if we declare war, okay, we have our claims on on Burgundy, so I don't need him, him there, him anymore. If I declare war, you cannot declare war on a member of the empire if you are allied with the with the empire <laughs> empire and all. Okay, right, they must have fixed this. Okay, well, we're almost at full drill at the moment. We'll keep our army here just in case maybe Austria might uh, not um, join the war, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Excuse me. This sniffle has been bug bugging me for a few days now. 
as you probably noticed, I, I've been recording these videos on a on a couple days, but only I'm probably just gonna upload these videos um, from time to time. I don't want to put out too much awesome content, or some of your guys' minds might explode from the awesomeness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> More settlers, we're making just over, just under a ducat, or over half a ducat a month. The explorer has finished exploring again. Keep sending him out. Oh, we're also colonizing down here, and Portugal has decided to also come down here as well. Uh, when this colony eventually does finish, we want to try and rush all of these centers of trade so that we can benefit the most out of the African trade. Even if it doesn't happen, it's fine. We're, we're still, we're still going to want to grab the centers of trade here in the Caribbean, or Caribbean, uh, however you would like to pronounce it. Uh, gain ducats, no less autonomy. Blah blah blah. Lose fifteen loyalty. Lose influence. Lose influence. Gain influence. Free money. Yeah, why not? And. The burgers are a little annoyed at me at the moment, but that's fine. We will make do. Uh, let's get rid of some of these pop-ups here. We can actually make states, but I don't... Oh, actually, we're ahead of admin tech at the moment, so that might not be the worst idea. Let's start... Ah, uh, we have... They automatically become calls. Okay, cool. Cambridge now poses fund exp ah, that's right. We were in uh we were debating something in Parliament. Okay, we have to call this to a few seats in Parliament. Let's give one to I don't know. Uh something here in England would be nice actually. Any of these the Welsh provinces? Give one to Montgomery. We're losing ducats at the moment. It's a little frustrating things because of our state maintenance I'll lose 44 ducats I don't, I don't I want to pass the um, government thing <laughs> okay Let me state some more things yeah whatever I'll continue to state and don't, want to, don't really need to state this one here okay everything in the English Isles we will definitely want to state Colonies are doing well. Uh, once again, no, that's our explorer. That's our colony escort fleet thingo. While well, uh, well, we're not doing much, we will send our navy to protect trade in the English Channel. <clears throat> okay, we're not at 50 power projection, which is... Eh, it's okay, but I'd like to be at 50. But I don't think I can do anything about that at the moment. Can invest in more global settler increase. Six, seven, seven. No, we want to hit. Oh, hang on. There's five diplo power. Yep. Oh well, can't take that right now. I need to wait another month. That wouldn't be a bad idea because I don't think because we wanted to hit uh, tech seven for the colonial range, but right now it's not that much of an issue because we are there. We managed to get to the new world so we can press this button and that will help us along we're definitely going to be ahead of portugal and castile castile has started colonization colonization here we are very nearly at max manpower our army we don't have any cannons in the army so we can hire another hire a cannon guy thing Very sophisticated language being used. Okay, unrest, ag aggressive expansion impact. I think we'll take the AE impact. Okay, this war is going to end fairly soon. In saying that, we can actually grab a claim. Austria is has a personal union over Hungary the event must have fired then I don't see that happen uh, much often where Hungary decide to actually take the personal union now will Austria Austria will defend 
uh, Flanders, so that's annoying. So we'll just keep uh, drilling the troops. Uh, it may not be a good idea to do it here. No, that's definitely not a good idea because if if Burgundy decide to come um, declaring war on me, then I'm going to lose that army very quickly because they're going to be on low morale. So we'll go pick them up. Uh, we'll just do it automatically, so I don't have to worry about anything. Whatever. Is this navy going to move? No, 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 no. You stay. We have max relations with Sweden. Pretty much max relations with Austria. Continue improving with the Pope. That's okay. When uh, Portugal needs some love as well. We're losing 1.43 ducats. But we have heaps of ducats in stock. So that's okay. Continue to explore. Send our last Portugal is requesting that I come to the aid in the Portuguese conquest of Tangier against the Morocco is allied with the Ottomans. Hang on, what? The nation of Portugal, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Portuguese conquest of Tangier against Morocco and. Uh, Tafilat. <laughs> this war is one that they have started. Morocco is ah Tafilat must be must be his uh, yeah his vessel. So are the Ottomans going to um, going to accept this call? I will accept. Uh, the Ottomans seem to not be joining the war, so. Okay, I don't want to be directly involved, but what I will do is I'll send my fleet out to help Mr. Portugal. Yeah, the Ottomans are not going to join this war. Okay. Uh, should I send an army down? I'm not doing much at the moment, and yeah, why not? Let's let's go help our ally. <laughs> let's let's get some content going up in here. So let's bring an army down to the Portuguese mainland. I'll leave this stack here in the mainland because I don't want to commit all of my forces. I don't want to be losing too much manpower. And my fleet will be here to aid Mr. Portugal as well. Uh, I cannot cross. Why? Ah, because <laughs> why does Granada still exist because still please there is no answer that you could give that would make any form of sense whatsoever but what's good is that um i can get military access through there so let's do that bring out the fleet and start blockading stuff because still's in this war as well all three allies joining together to beat the muslims back And there's an engagement occurring right now, and it looks like we're going to stack wipe that fleet. I mean, that army. Let's siege some stuff down for our allies. And not take too much attrition, please. Uh, we'll raise war taxes so we can be in the green for once in a while. It's Aragon's troops. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered reading all of this. Uh, diplomatic reputation guy, the extra 50 diplomatic power is nice. Manor is always very nice. Mana points. Okay, we have taken this. Let's transfer this to Portugal. Not interested in any of this land. It's ugly Moroccan culture, culture group. No offense to anyone who's from uh, Morocco, by the way. We'll station our troops here in Fez and see what our allies are going to do. If he's going to attack us, he's going to take a river crossing penalty and a minus two terrain penalty. So we're pretty safe here at the moment. This province here is also in the mountains and there are rivers going all around it. So we can move up and siege this for our allies. 
might not be the best idea because Castile is busy sieging something down here and here. But I think we should be fine. Morocco is military tech 6 and we are military tech 7 I believe. Yes, okay. So we do have a tech advantage. I think we're safe here in the mountains. Uh, seed this to me. No. Uh, lose claim. That's fine actually with me. Um, no, I don't want to lose my claim actually. We'll just take the prestige hit. Come Naples with their army and Aragon as well. We can transfer this over to Portugal. I'd rather give it to Portugal than to Castile. Don't want Castile to get too big. There's going to be a battle here with some random army of that I cannot see. We, who, which, what? Aragon will take a river crossing penalty. From where? Is he coming from here? Aragon, there, there, there are easier ways to go, to go about this, man. There are much easier ways. Anyway, explorers finished. Let's send him out once again. Aragon, man, come on. You can land here and then travel here, or you can. Uh, whatever. Okay, there's 27,000 Tunisian armies over there. Moroccan, sorry, not Tunisian. Excuse me, Tunis is over here. Please learn to geography. Or well, learn to <laughs> Europe Universalis geography. Alright, we're doing pretty well in pretty well in this war so far. There's not much what's going on over here. Occupied by the Ottomans. Defender. The Ottoman conquest of Otlenia. Here in Wallachia, I believe. Allied with Poland. Wow. Okay, we have some... Actually, no, I'd like to save the stockpile of money. This colony here is nearly done. As soon as it's done, we're going to see if we can hit these points here. I'd like to actually maybe do two at a time. That would be nice. I don't mind being in the in the negative for... Uh, maybe, maybe not. Actually, one at a time will be fine. That one should be done soon as well, so we'll be... We'll be rushing the Caribbean very, very quickly. Okay, we're not going to advance with our troops. Are we at war with the Ottomans? No. Okay. Our troops are safe here. Uh, lose? No. Take it. We can't do anything with the papal influence yet. Can grab another claim on Flanderizers. Now we have claims, we don't need him there anymore. We can send this one back to Burgundy. And I think we've lost a claim or two on Holland, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've lost these claims. We still have these ones here. Always want to have those claims ready, just in case something happens. I'd like it not to happen right now, because half of my army is busy here in North Africa. Northwest Africa. Yeah, uh, did the pop-up happen? I didn't see it. Okay, no. I must have clicked it off. So, we have our colonists. So, we can now hit this province here. Very nice. And we will send my boats up there as well. Castile, what are you doing here? Very interesting. Where are you moving your troops to? You... <laughs> I don't understand what he's doing. Because he has access through my country due to the fact that we're at war, um, we're on the same side of a war that we're fighting. So he just decided to just walk, walk to this colony over here, just for no reason. Uh, quarantine the port. I think Portugal will be ending this war sometime soon. Uh, these forts turned on, which I don't like this. Just turn them off. Leave this, this port here is just ugly. There, there, there's no reason for it being here. It'd be nice if it feels like here or in the middle, but here, I think we'll just we'll just get rid of it. The money that we don't need to be spending on fort maintenance. Rain falls somewhere. 
Burgundy still isn't doing doing anything. He's just chilling out, biding his time, being allied to my rival, or my other rival. <sighs> fun times, fun times, good content, guys. <laughs> Burgers are still annoyed at me. Clergy are not. So maybe we can take press a click. Establish new world missions. No, we don't need this. Um, 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 nope, nope, nope. Don't need any of that. Okay. And our colony here is started. Very nice. This one's going to be finished and then we can send that colonist. I think we want to get started on the, uh, the islands first before we hit this. Caraco, you get Jamaica, and then get all of these small islands, and then clean up the rest. Castile and Portugal, there's really no point in you guys even trying, so just, just don't worry, okay? Focus on other things, focus on South America, that's nice. Even, even if you focus on Africa, it's okay with me. I'm gonna be so rich, it looks like, in a hundred or so years time. The amount of ducats I'm going to be making is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well, I think we can pump it up to speed four. Explorer is ready once again. Let's keep exploring everything we can. We're at max manpower at the moment. More influenza spreading. It's annoying. I don't want to be losing my admin power. But might as well. I don't want it to spread even further. Let's continue to raise war taxes. Uh, I didn't see this pop up. I keep clicking on things. I should really. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, we, we've done our bit here. It, it, I think it said Burgundy was we, was about to attack someone. So let's 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 prepare our army, just in case this something like this does happen. Because I don't think they need my help anymore. There we go. Burgundy has declared war on Provence. Provence is part of the Empire? Yes or no? No. Okay. He's allied with France and Siena. So France should be defending Burgundy. Okay. 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 So, if I was to attack, Austria would join. Denmark would join as a defender. Denmark, are you at war with France? No, not at the moment. Okay, interesting things may be happening right now. Oh, the fact that Denmark would join the war against is a little bit annoying. Austria does have a Hungary as a partner in the Union. <laughs> Excuse my phone. <laughs> you might have heard my phone vibrate. Um, 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 um. Hmm. I'm very tempted to join the war. Uh, Explorer has finished once again. Let's continue to explore. We're at max manpower, or nearly. Actually, let me just um, turn my phone off. That's Discord going off. Someone wants to play a, a multiplayer game of Hearts of Mine. <sighs> you gotta take risks, no? You have to take risks. <laughs> Burgundy is on Tech 7. Military Tech 7, that is. We're on Tech 7 as well, about to hit Tech 8. I think we do. I think we're gonna build another unit of uh, a, what do you call it? A mercenary unit of infantry. And we're just going to go. We are going to go. Let's send all the troops down to Co. Austria will join the war. What about Castile? Castile's in debt. Portugal is in another war. Minus 30. They have a huge debt. I'm not going to pay that off for them. Screw that. I'm keeping my own money. Let's 
So Burgundy has personal unions with Brabant and Holland. That's Brabant, this is Holland. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's just do it. Austria, come help. We're going to take uh, Picardy or Artois. None of them are centers of trade. Picardy has a higher development and I assume higher trade power. Yes, but the trade value here is higher. Okay, we will go for Picardy. Whoops. And we will call Austria in. Take out the fleet, start sieging down Picardy. And press the win siege please button. Boom. Got our whole army on this. Looks like Austria are mobilizing. At this point in time. Denmark has joined the war. I hope France are doing shenanigans and fighting battles and winning battles for us on our behalf. We can always... Uh, our other colony is done. Very nice. Let's take him and start on here. We need to keep an eye on our troops over here. Make sure nothing funny happens. At the same time, we need to ferry these troops over. Should be using hotkeys at the moment, but I am not bothered. <laughs> Anything happening over here? Not yet, not yet. Doesn't look like we're still sieging it down. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Excuse, excuse me for the ridiculous scrolling, but I really don't want to uh, use hotkeys at the moment. I could just click one of these buttons actually, it makes much more sense. Alright, where is Austria going? Austria, friend, what are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, Austria's bringing his stack towards me. Can invest in an idea. And by travel time, expel minorities cost. I'm not interested in any of that. I think I'm gonna save the Diplo power and grab the next expansion idea and grab the other, the extra merchant. Okay, Austria's army is here with us. Uh, is Hungary's army moving at all? Where is it? I'm trying to find Hungary's army. Got a 22k stack there. There's Hungary's army. It's only a measly 11k. I think I'd prefer it if Austria or... Actually, if he could see some stuff down over there, that would be nice. I'm taking a lot of attrition here. Having my entire army sieging down Picardy. Supply limits 31. I can always slacken standards. It's definitely an option because we have... Oh yeah, we do have the option if we lose another 2,000 manpower. And I can't believe we're getting so unlucky. I need to detach. So I'm not taking so much attrition. Okay. Burgundy, it looks like there's going to be a big fight over here. And Austria is going to join. No, yes, no, no, no. You should get out of there, actually. It's not a very... Okay, we won the siege. Uh, we're going to smash his navy. And continue exploring. Siege more stuff down. Austria needs to bring his army closer to us. I mean, yeah, that's the way, that's the way. Yes. Together we will be an unstoppable force. That's, we need to take this fort here. And blockade Holland. Okay, France is already taking this fort. We need to join our troops with Austria's. Let France do his thing while we do our thing. We also... Do have raised war taxes, so that's okay. Extra base tax on some random province in the new world. Cool, cool, very cool. Hopefully our armies don't intercept any of uh, Burg the, uh, the Burgundian and or 
Danish forces or any of his puppets. I don't know what Hungary is doing over here, but I guess he's making distractions. <laughs> he's being a distraction, should I, I should say, actually. Okay, let's not do anything too crazy. Let's just chill out. Let Austria do some sieging for us. Yes. So excited we're going to finally take some land. Ah, I should have taken claims. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I only have a claim on Holland. Because I want to take his land here first. Ah, that's annoying. Ah, uh, we can... We don't have any troops here. But if we split, split. And then take 4k. Put them there. We can then... Press this button. No. Yes. No. Can I... Uh, I'm not in command of the siege. Okay, that's annoying. Seems silly, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, so if hypothetically I was to go boom boom, boom, can I take three? Oof, 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 oof. That is a big coalition, I must say. I can take two. Local trade power, Rhine Estuary. I think I'm going to take the center of trade and the estuary and... Still the same. Still the same. I can only take two. I can only take two in this war. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to be... Yeah, I don't want to accrue that much overextension. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. I think it's run its course for now. If... Uh, there are any new viewers out there if you guys did like the content please like hit the like button and subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of any future videos I have been Dvoraka and I will see you guys in the next episode